Hi, everybody. A lovely day for football here. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our action is from La Liga. We've been counting the hours, Alan, haven't we, for this one? Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Let's check on Granada and their 11 players. Well, they do like to play on the counter-attack, this team. Looking at the lineup, Alan, do you think that's the way they're going to address the problems today? That is the way it looks at the moment. We'll find out soon enough, but they are perfectly set up for the counter. They've got lots of pace on the break. I think we'll see that today. Barcelona's lineup here. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Piquet starts alongside Clement Longley at the back. And they're going to go with one striker up front. Just the feeling about La Liga and, and Barcelona. Barcelona and Real Madrid sometimes told that they only have easy games to play apart from the Clásicos. That's not the case at all, is it? There's uh, some tremendous competition in this league. Well, they're the team that everybody wants to topple, aren't they, along with Real Madrid. And with that comes a lot of pressure for the players that wear this kit. Terrific uh, entertainment uh, on offer here, I'm sure, as the game gets underway. That's not what he wanted to do, a poor pass. It's with De Jong. Miralem Pjanic. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Lionel Messi. Miralem Pjanic. Pjanic. Probing the pass. It's a strange miss, that one, Alan, because he looked as though he was going for accuracy. It was totally inaccurate in the end. The precision was uh, nowhere to be seen there. On a loss, Herrera. Here's Vallejo. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking, tight call, but he's made it. The flag's up. Some relieved faces amongst those defenders there. I think they thought the flag was going to stay down. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan, and I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think, but this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now, as it turns out, what a great call. Sergio Busquets. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Kanich couldn't keep it. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Attacking now. Matches. Proper tackle, that. Jordi Alba. Well, that'll be a throw. Herrera. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? 
now you can cross it. Gone a loss. Herrera certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. Looped over the defenders for the forward to chase. A great chance to go in front. Now he's taken it off his toes and hung on to it. Yeah, no knockdowns there for any lurking strikers. Good goalkeeping. Soldado. Read that well with the interception. Here's De Jong. It's Messi. Miralem Pjanic. Griezmann. They continue to defend as a unit, but no real attacking outlet, so the game is being played in their half. Messi! Well, they set up to defend, Alan, but they've conceded after all. Yeah, you can say that they invited that pressure, that the goal was coming. And now, really, they've got to change their attitude, haven't they? So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal, and it came at a, a crucial time, I think, for his side. A real captain's input there. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team could go on and win this. No great shocks then to see Barcelona ahead. Read the play well. It's a good game this because Barcelona aren't having it all their own way, although they do lead. It's uh, quite an even contest. Half time approaching. Keep ball here from Barcelona. Miralem Pjanic. Messi, threading it through, Janic. Right, right, he really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully, not a bad effort at all. It's with De Jong. It's Messi. Miralem Pjanic. Right, right. One in front. They would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front than they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Griezmann, it's Messi. Another turnover in play here with that interception. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. And what about Messi's first half, Alan? Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Another 45 of that and he'll be well pleased. Second half underway, Barcelona have got the lead. Sergio Busquets. Now it's De Jong. Miralem Pjanic. Griezmann. This is what Barcelona do. They move you about with their excellent passing. Opportunity to cross it now. Maybe cut in for a shot here. Can't get the shot through. Good block.
Jordi Alba. Want to use the full width of the pitch now, the team in possession all the time against a dogged defensive unit that they're facing at the moment. Now, can he take them on? Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with him. Great play. Catching practice indeed for the goalkeeper here from that poor cross. Intercepted well. Miralem Pjanic. Pjanic. Griezmann. Chance to cross it. Good vision from Antoine Griezmann. Great save. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. It's with De Jong. Now it's De Jong. Messi. Barcelona just waiting for the moment to strike, really. They've got the ball. They're happy to keep it short and safe, but there'll be a pass in a moment that'll be more threatening. Miralem Pjanic. It's Messi. Patient play from them. It's with De Jong. Excellent interception. A strong player, and he shielded it well. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Set up to play on the break now. Yeah, he's got the ball back. Lionel Messi. He can cross it now. Sergio Busquets. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up. But they're keeping the ball well. They're really working the opposition around with this passing. They can't get near it. No, they can't. They're having to do a lot of chasing. They're just wearing them out. Used to seeing Barcelona with big leads, but not here. And it will be interesting to see how they just cope with these last few minutes. Yeah, believe it or not, I think they might be getting a little nervy down there. As far as uh, central midfield players' performances have gone from games we've seen recently, Alan, this is right up there, isn't it? He's going to be uh, replaced now. Well, I thought he was going to be in for a really tough battle today against this side, but uh, he was head and shoulders above those midfielders on the opposition and uh, coming off rightfully to plenty of applause. Measured, composed, in control. Barcelona not really hurried out of their relaxed and stylish stride here and they're going to get the success that they thoroughly merit. It's about finding the right pass now. Braithwaite. Janic taking on the defenders. Janic. Here's Busquets. Coutinho. Well, he got the power from that range that was pretty good but not the accuracy yeah if you try from that distance you've got to do a better job than that <laughs> 88 minutes played here very impressive the support for this team Funny the team could be quite so impressive themselves. Yeah, they're doing their bit, the supporters, they really are. So, just wonder whether it can transfer onto those players down on the pitch. Coutinho. And it's come to an end now as the referee blows the whistle for the last time. It was really close, right up to the final whistle but they've got across the finishing line with their noses just in front. I'd be relieved about that because the opposition pushed them all the way. It's a cracking contest. So, Leo Messi, your verdict, Alan Smith. Yep, he gave those defenders a torrid time out there. Got the goal, the all-important one, and had loads of chances.